Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Light is truly an incredible force. Light gives you assurance. Light gives you direction. And light gives you peace. I have heard of many children and even adults who are afraid of the dark, but I have never heard of anyone who is scared of the light. You find people in a house during the day. They are not afraid because of the light, but as soon as darkness begins to come, they begin to become uncertain and uneasy, even though it is the same house that they were in a few hours ago. That is the power of light. Light brings assurance. God is light. 1 John chapter 1, verse 5 This then is the message which we have heard of him and declare unto you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. Jesus is light. John chapter 8, verse 12 Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. The Bible is light. Psalm 119 verse 105 Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And the children of God are the light of the world. Jesus came through with light and we were transferred from darkness to light. Colossians chapter 1 verse 13 He has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of the Son of His love. We have been transferred into a kingdom that is full of light. John chapter 8 verse 12 Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Jesus is the light of the world, and through Him we left darkness, we left sin, the world of sin, the life of evil, the light of Christ has been revealed to us. He told us that He has given us the authority. Jesus has the authority over everything, and that authority includes light. He gave us this authority, and now we are not just walking in light, but we also have the light in us. We are now the light of the world. You have been made the light of the world. Jesus has given you the light to shine in the world. You cannot behave like those who are in darkness. The people around you are looking to you. They are learning from you. Someone said that the unbelievers, the unconverted, don't read the Bible. They read Christians. Some people have decided never to be a Christian because of the way they see some Christians behaving. Some Christians are always found where there is violence. You cannot be representing Christ on earth and you are not known for peace. Who are you serving if you are encouraging sin in the lives of others? These are the works of darkness. Anyone who is in the light of God will never behave like this. You need to check yourself again and ask if you are really the light of the world. Ask yourself, are you shining the light of Christ in you? You have it in you. Do not keep it. You cannot hide this light. Christians are light bearers. You are a light bearer. The light of Jesus illuminates the darkness by exposing lies, bringing truth, destroying the kingdom of darkness, bringing hope to the hopeless, giving life to the lifeless, giving joy to the joyless. Christians are light bearers. Matthew chapter 5 verse 15 Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. You cannot be in a room with people and put your light where it will not be useful for people. You cannot put it where it will not shine. It will be the same as not having light at all. Jesus said, you need to shine that light. How do you shine this light? Matthew chapter 5 verse 16 says, Let your light so shine before men, that they 
may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. The simple way to show your light is by showing your good works. Let them see Christ in you, whether you know it or not. Someone somewhere is watching you and they are reading your life. They are always monitoring you and their first experience with God will be through the light. Are you letting your light shine? Are you? The unfortunate thing is there are some Christians who are afraid of letting their light shine. They are afraid to be associated with Christ. They hide the gospel even though their life is not at risk for being Christian. They hide their light all in the name of fitting in. Imagine that. They prefer to be loved by the world than accepted and deny Christ. Remember what the Bible says, Matthew chapter 10, verse 33. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father, which is in heaven. Have you been denying Christ? Have you been hiding your light? Have you been hiding the fact you are born again, all in the name of fitting in? Today is the day for you to let your light shine. Let righteousness shine in your life. Let holiness shine in your life. When some Christians talk or behave, people ask if they are truly Christians because they cannot find any Christian quality in them. Are you like this? This is the time for you to start showing your good works to people. At your job, do people even know you are Christian? You don't need to stand on a desk and declare, I am a Christian. No, simply living like a child of God, living in the light will show you to everyone you are a Christian. You cannot let the light of Jesus in you be hidden. You were called for a reason and that reason is to shine. If you are sleeping in the spirit, I want you to wake up now because now is the time that the glory of the Lord will rise on you. Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 Arise, shine, for thy light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. The Bible says your light has come stop sleeping the glory of the lord is now on you you have no other choice but to shine you need to start shining you need to start glowing you need to start radiating the glory of god in your life start shining and stop hiding many people will be saved through you many people will know christ through you many people will leave the path of darkness through you you must shine your light. What are the other ways you can shine your light? 1. By preaching the gospel. If you want to shine your light, you must preach the gospel to the world. You must let people know about Christ. Just tell them about Christ. Tell them what he has done for them through love. Many people need to know who Christ is. When you have the chance to tell them, don't hesitate to say that. Tell them about Christ and through that, you are making your light shine to them. Jesus commanded all of us to go into the world and preach the gospel. If you have the light of Christ in you, the joy in you will want you to tell others about Christ. That joy is something you cannot keep. It will want you to tell people about Christ. Shine your light by preaching the gospel. 2. Show love to everybody. If you have the Holy Spirit of God in you, you need to show the fruits of the Spirit. You need to allow love to flow from you to other people. You need to let them see that there is something called true love and not the love of this world. People are so desperate for this kind of love, a love that is pure, a love that has no hidden motives, the love that follows from the Holy Spirit. People are so, so desperate to be loved like this so desperate. If you love people, you will help in all the ways they want to help. You will be there for them when no one is there. If you love them, you will tell them about the love of Jesus for their lives. Show love because that is an indication that you have the light of Christ in you. If you know God, you will have love in you because God is love. 3. Follow peace with all men. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 14 follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the lord 
Not following peace with all men means you don't have the Holy Spirit of God in you. And that means you don't have the light of God in you. Let peace show in your life. Let people see peace in you. The closest people in your life, you need to show peace with is your family or the people you live with. Would your family describe you as a person who is following peace, as someone who is chasing after peace? Or would they describe you as a ticking time bomb? Does your family have to tiptoe around you? That is not walking in the light. Walking in the light requires you to seek peace. Peace needs to be the atmosphere of your life and your home. Peace will make you reject every form of violence. Peace in you will allow you to forgive people quickly. Peace will make you reject hatred towards your neighbor. And remember, peace will make you see God. What else would you want to choose now? You need to be peaceful with everybody. Let them feel the peace flowing through you and they will want that kind of peace. This is not the time to hide and not let people see that you have the light of God in you. This is not the time to open your eyes and see darkness. Take over the world while you are hiding your light. You have the light in you. You need to shine it. You need to make the world know let all the evil people know that there is the light of Christ in some people. The world awaits you.